Yeah, so recently it's been a little bit more sadder than I expected. It's just a little bit more tougher than I expected. And I guess still to this day, I still wonder what life would be like if there really wasn't the validation of other people, right? What the opinions of other people, like what other people actually think of me. And that's one of the biggest like struggles that I often have every now and then, because I guess every now and then it's just, I would often used to put a lot of people in the self-improvement space on a pedestal. Like, I guess when I'm in a community of people who are basically on self-improvement, like I just often put them on a pedestal. It's basically like, you know, when you're in high school or like when you're yeah so like basically when you're in high school you often treat these high school kids like they're popular kids and you eventually put them on a pedestal and that's the way that i actually feel when it comes to people that are in the self-improvement space like if i'm in some sort of self-improvement community or that and if i'm in some self-improvement school i just put them for some reason i just put them on a pedestal even though like i just do some of this i just feel a little bit more scared of just doing some things that would actually affect their like their opinions of me right like i just would often worry so much of what they actually think of me you know and for some reason i just just never felt a lot more like I I, I have this sense of love or that I just ever felt like someone ever loves me or not like I just never feel loved in a sense like I just feel like I'm just the most annoying person and everybody hates me or that everyone just doesn't like me and I know I've dealt with so much hate and I had someone else was just talking shit behind my back and to be honest dude like maybe that is my fault maybe I don't deserve to be Pete their friends I don't probably don't deserve to fit in it just and I know I'm a very shy person I normally don't go out as much as I used to and I know you can call me whatever the fuck you want to say and I don't care what you got to say I mean I, I believe that being in a social season just never really sticks out to me the most right now like it's not really in the current situation that i'm in right now and currently right now i believe that being on monk mode has been helping me a lot more and it's been working wonders with me like so i just don't need a community right now like i just don't need people that i actually be around with because that's the biggest reason it's like i just don't really seem to fit in with these people like i just don't i just don't feel like i even want to ask for help too because i guess every now and then when i often ask for help like they would often ask these things like oh yeah don't ask me stupid questions like they ask in a very toxic masculine way because yeah i know most people are often raised by a very toxic masculinity way and you know being influenced by so many of these people right and i don't blame you and i don't blame them for that because that's just the biggest thing that i guess we've often been treated as you know it's just like why are you such a, a dickhead if you're just if you've been through this situation before right and i know i speak so much out of anger and out of conviction and i really don't mean to actually speak in that way but that's just the way how i would often speak to my younger self but at the same time i often want to try to help that younger self of me, of me of wanting to actually speak that way so you know i never really like just just those kinds of people that, that are like in the big huge self-improvement space and i know i get like a lot of hate and a lot of people hate me for who i am and to be honest dude like i really don't care and i really don't care what others think of me i just don't give a shit about what people have to say about me because you have to understand like can they even pay the fucking bills can they even fucking pay my bills can they even do the things that i have to do you know no one fucking loves me bro <laughs> not even the people that i see in in real life like no one fucking loves me okay and that's okay i mean i never feel loved i never even got in a relationship but that's okay like does that mean that i have to hate myself does that mean that i have to kill myself that i have does that have to mean that i'm worthless like dude no one's ever rooting for me like neither my friends like like one of my oldest friends right he basically unadded me because of the way i behaved like the way i just changed and that's okay like a lot of people fucking hate me for who i am now and you can say whatever the fuck you want to say about me or my own opinions but if you're just gonna out here, out here talking shit like fine go ahead you just click off right so i mean i remember even there was even a time where it was my own goal to get the validation of other people you know and i remember back when i was in when i was 13 you know i used to always go on snapchat all the time and i would often be posting stuff like why do people hate me why do people like just don't like me the way i am every time i often talk why do people think of me as if, if i'm just an annoying person and it got me to the point to the way that i behave now kind of got me to the point of like my past basically dictates my actions right now and i feel like part of my past is actually still in me the way that i'm often criticized by everyone else because they say because of the personalities that i basically had back in my old time and I feel like there's just part of me that has changed, which is that people just don't view it, you know, and I do feel really alone, like whenever it comes to these people, like I've lost so many people and I think it's the right way for me to do it on my own. And I guess a lot of people often criticize me. Like a lot of people make these like stupid excuses and stuff like that. Like, oh yeah, you're a self-improvement autist. Oh yeah, yeah I'm gonna take your future wife. And it's like, why, why being a fucking dickhead, man? Like, can't you just help a brother out? So that's the biggest reason like why like i just don't fit in with, with the crowd and even the whole people that's in the whole like self-improvement space because it's just 
I just don't like them anymore. I just don't relate to them anymore. Like, I just have to be, it's, it's my own duty. It's basically my own, like, goal and my own way. It's just, why do I care so much of what others think of me? Why do I care about the validation of other people? I remember there was even once in time I went on, uh, when I was actually on Twitter and I was literally doing a DM with some salesman. And every time I often go on discovery calls, or every time I often go to, like, these Calendly links that, you know, they often book me, right? I just feel a little bit pressured and, and I just have this fear of what others think of me and what, you know, the top 1% of the people would often think of me and i just would put these people on a pedestal why do i care about what like these my role models do right and why do i care about what they think of me why do i care about other people and you know it's just not my goal to make people like me it just saps so much of my energy and my attention and i don't know why i keep worrying about these things about what other people think of me i remember like it's just a lot of people from my school hated me and even when i talked to women as well like a lot of people hated me on that and and that's the biggest reason why i feel so scared even scared to ask for help it's just why is it that i think of what others think of me because i often believe that when people hate me for who i am i feel like it's gonna start to spread everywhere else like they're just gonna believe on that person that, oh yeah he's a bitch right and every now and then it's just why do i care so much about what others think like imagine if the validation of other people just never existed like i think life would be better you know life would be easier and it'd be amazing and i think we'd all get what we want if the valid if you know the validation of others never really existed and i guess i just never felt like i wanted to ask for help or like i just never felt like i wanted to talk to anyone because i guess i'm on my own it's just i'm on my own like world and my own duty it's my own path that i have to forge myself into and i'm just a little bit scared to just see what happens but i just never felt loved and that's okay i mean not everyone's gonna root for you and not everyone's gonna support you and all that stuff you know they just want us to lose they just want us to die they just want us to rot in chains and they want us to fall and but the truth is i've never seen a successful person criticize someone and you know barge in the way and just talk shit behind people's back and i, I know you, i've done those things before but i want to be a better friend i want to be a better person and i don't know what i can do to become a better person and i feel like the real people are the ones that like me because of my own flaws or because of the own scars that i have and i guess part of my authentic self is just starting to fade away every time i say no it's just of the opinions of other people the reason why people are so afraid to say no is because of the opinions of other people and what other people think and yeah but i still want to fix that route you know every now and then it's just i'm just scared to ask for help because i remember back in those days you know when you're in school you know when you often ask for help like your teachers or your authority figures like they just get pissed at you for just asking for help and that's the reason why i struggle with asking for help because of the opinions of other people or because of the response of other people even rejection as well and it's just hard for me to view the future because a lot of people they often tell us to focus on the present but i guess we have to focus on both the present and future and it's not that is it's just like what do you got to lose people have so much time to just talk shit about everyone else and they just sap so much energy and time that every now and then i just want to end myself that i just want to fucking crush myself the bottomless of my soul and i just be worrying so much why do i care why and it's just why do i see bad people always win but the good people they often fall this isn't like how we often see in hollywood movies and this isn't how we often see in what the world really has it's just it's really sad and i often wish i was dead for some reason but or like i wish i was just not in this world i just wish i was never created here but i just don't want to let bad people win i just want to just finish my journey has to do and see what i have to do later on but i know we're gonna make it but all that matters is just just not give a fuck about what other people say like why do they even pay your bills do they even like the people like they, they can't even mind their own businesses they spend too much time talking shit every now and then and that's fine like let them talk shit and we can prove them wrong with our own results we're gonna make it promise yeah i mean it's it all comes down to losing people and people talking shit behind your back people having to lose you and this and that and it's up to them and just cut them off man like they can fuck off and so you have two choices. You can either save your mind or you can let your mind destroy you. So you choose.